Y'all, I got a new chair. It's so nice. I love it. Oh, it's huge. Like it is, it is a super wide surface so I can sit cross-legged. Oh, I'm excited. Hey y'all, welcome to a new video. So today we're gonna do my Sephora Spring Savings event wrap up. I'm gonna go over the things I bought, the things I'm enjoying, the things I'm going to return, as well as the things I've already returned. I gotta say, this time around, there were a lot of duds. I'm, I'm really surprised. So let's talk about the stuff I like first, and then we'll go into the stuff that I'm returning, and then we'll talk about the stuff that I've already returned. So the stuff that I have purchased that I am keeping, I have two that I haven't opened yet. One of these is a backup of my Givenchy Prism Libre powder. This is the mini. I am more than happy using a mini. It, it fits easier into my storage, and it feels like a finishable amount of powder. It is a little bit more expensive than the full size, but for now I'm fine with that. I have, I have so many powders, I don't need anything big and cumbersome. I also got a pack of the Soft Services Buffing Bars. I haven't opened these yet because I have a tube of the First Aid KP Scrub in my shower. So when I'm finished with that, I will then open these. I should probably get a, um, like a soap container, something to keep them dry. Because I know that like when you use them, you want them to be wet, but I don't want them to dissolve. So that will have to be something I play with after I've opened them and once I report back. Okay, things that I am using and loving right now. Um, I would say one of the biggest hits of this haul has been this. This is the Danessa Myricks Moisture Repair Balm Serum. Don't tell my mother I'm getting her one of these for Mother's Day because her skin needs this kind of hydration. It is amazing. I put this on one day my skin was super dry I took a nap and I woke up and my skin just felt plump. It felt hydrated. It felt soft. I then took a shower and did a scrub and so much dead skin came off. I then put another layer of this on and just let it sink in under my skin care. It's, this is a miracle worker. This is not just a makeup product. This is a skincare product. <laughs> in like a huge amount, I, 40 grams of product, and you don't need much. It's really concentrated. It's, it's a very nicely concentrated petrolatum formula, and I love that. It's so beautiful. All right, um, where are we going next? Let's talk about these eyeliners. So, these are two of the Sephora 12 hour liners. One is in the shade, I believe, Love Story. Love Affair is this uh, dark plummy shade. It's almost black, but it's, it's more of a plum. It's got some purple in it. And then this has been the one that I'm using all the time. This is Soft Rose. I have been looking for a pencil version of something like KVD Lolita, something with that rosy grunginess. This is gorgeous. It goes on the waterline so easily. They slide and then they set. You can blend them out and then they just kind of set down and don't move. That's That right there is an eyeliner that I can 100% get behind. And they sharpen really easily too. These are just a regular sharpenable pencil. I picked up two blushes. One of these is a mini from Rare Beauty in the shade Virtue. This is a really, really lovely burnt peach. 
And I have to give Rare Beauty credit because their regular doe foot is so big. It carries so much product. It's almost unwieldy. Unyielding? It's, um, it's just too much. Whereas with these little minis, they have reduced the size of the doe foot. So you really get a manageable amount of product without needing to be too fussy. But yeah, this is a lovely burnt peach. I've kind of compared it to Fire Moon from House Labs. This is this feels a little more fluorescent where that one's a little darker. I don't know where mine is, otherwise I'd swatch them side by side. The other blush is one of the Bosma cream blushes in the shade Mauve. I love this. I love this. I, I am realizing as time goes on that I am falling out of love with balm-based blushes. I want a cream. I want a liquid. I want something that's going to have a little more substance. But when you take this on a sponge and you just go over your blush ever so slightly using that like Patrick Ta method of powder first and then cream, this just brings life back to the face and back to the skin. And it makes me really happy. It's also a beautiful component. It's really satisfying because it clicks in both directions. So it clicks closed and open and you know when the lid is, oh, it's great. It's, it's a really beautiful product. It's aluminum, I believe. So it's, it should be recyclable and it doesn't have a mirror. Thank you. Mirrors and products like this are unnecessary. Oh, I got two lip products. One of them is a newer product to Sephora. Let me find the name of it. So this is the Sephora Sheer Shine Lipstick in shade 3269B. I'm not sure if that um, corresponds to a, a, an actual name instead of a series of numbers, but it is the perfect light beige lipstick. It is a lipstick. It's not a gloss. It's not a treatment. It's, it's a regular lipstick, but it's really sheer. It does build up a little bit, but overall you're just going to get a sheer wash of color that's really comfortable. It is not terribly long lasting. Today I paired it with a lip liner, so we will have to see how that pans out. But I am I am really happy with this lipstick and the the packaging is this beautiful iridescence. How can I be mad at this? It's lovely. And I did buy the Ami Cole Gloss in Bliss. This is an easy throw it on anywhere, anytime. It is the shade of my lips and it is just treatmenty. It is a, it can be a bit goopy. So if you apply it to the corners of your mouth, you're gonna get some buildup there. But if you put on a thick layer in the center of your lips and then spread it, it's, it should stay put. <laughs> it should. And I have one of these in a brown shade that I love. So when I saw this in store, my brain kind of went, all right, we're going to buy it. We're going to buy it. We're going to love it. No reason not to. And the last thing that I bought that I have absolutely been adoring is the, the, so this is the Valentino Born in Roma Green Stravaganza perfume. Um, I have heard it compared to Mood Ring from Fleur, which I can I can vouch for that. It is a but it's not as candy sweet. The top note in Mood Ring is fruit gummies, where this is like apple and lime. It it is bright and fresh. And it smells a little bit verdant. It smells like nature. And I have just been absolutely loving it. Loving. And I, I discovered that you can take 
the bottle out of this little wrapper. And if you're traveling with a mini of a perfume, you can slide it in there and it'll it'll kind of buffer it. That That is a neat little touch. I appreciate that. So that is the bulk of the things that I have bought and kept and used or not opened. Let's talk about the return stuff. There's, there's quite a few. So I'm going to list off the ones that I don't have in front of me first because they got returned in the first wave of returns. So the first thing I bought was the Colfi eyeliner in the shade Tiger Queen. I have one of these in the brown shade and I really love it. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous eyeliner. I have been looking for something in a rich terracotta, something almost the shade of like Fire Moon in an eyeliner and it's so hard to find. So I saw Tiger Queen online. It advertised itself as a terracotta. I got so excited and it was orange. Somewhere I have a photo comparing it to my um, Hindash lip liner in Brick, which is one of the more terracotta shades that I have. And it's not, it's, it's not, it was orange. It did not look good on me. It was just, no. So I took it back. Along with the Glossier Ultra Lip in Lucite. Y'all, this one, this one near about broke my heart. I, I like the Glossier Ultra Lip formula. I have finished one of those lipsticks in the shade Drench. So I thought I'll get the like sheer pink one and it was baby pink. It was cool toned Barbie pink, which is not my jam. I was, I was so sad to have to take that back and be like, it just doesn't work for me. It makes me really sad. If you saw my first get ready with me, which I will post above, I'll put in the cards as well as down in the description, you'll saw, you, you'll saw, you'll saw, yes. You saw how much I struggled with that Fenty Ease Drop foundation stick. And I don't know why, because I have heard people rave about how beautiful that product is. It's good for dry skin. It, it just kind of brings everything to life. On me, it, pull, it pilled in my dry spots and it, it pooled in my dryness. So it emphasized all of that stuff. And I couldn't get it to work with my skincare or with my other blushes. It was just a hot mess. Unfortunately, it had to go back. The last product I returned after one use, and that was because I could not handle the fragrance. Um, this was the Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin Serum. So the one that comes in the tube, not one of the ones in the pot. I don't know why. I have used so many of her products and they're not fragranced. Why did this one have such a strong fragrance to it. Had I smelled it in store, I would have said, oh yeah, no, that's not going to work for me. And I'm just not buying it. But I got it home, I put it on, and immediately knew that it had to go back. The last two products, one of them you will have seen in my previous two videos. This guy, this is the Natasha Denona I Need a Nude palette. This didn't work for me. It, it's, it just didn't work for me. And maybe it's my eyeshadow preference. Maybe it's my skill level. Maybe it's just what I like, but this had way too many cool toned browns and not enough warmth to offset that. You can do a cool palette as long as you have some warm tones to create light and depth, but this just did not do it for me. However, I posted another video. My last video would have been creating a uh, custom palette of what I wanted this to be. And you know what? I'm using that palette and I love it. I love that palette. 
The last one I haven't really touched on. I um, don't like it. I don't like it. This is the Merit Minimalist Foundation Stick. I have this in the shade Silk. So I have this in the shade Silk. It's, it's a fine shade match. Oh, hello. That was the first time that happened. Yeah, it's a bit yellow. We know, I swatched it on my hand, but on my face it's fine. This is too thick for a foundation, but doesn't have enough coverage for a concealer. It doesn't sink into my skin. It feels like it sits really heavily on top of my skin, emphasizing texture. I don't need it. I don't like it. I don't want it. No, no. This, I am on the hunt for like my ideal stick foundation. This is not my ideal stick foundation. I, I'm so bummed because I've been wanting to try this product for a really long time. And I was in store the last day of the sale. And I was like, okay, I want to buy a, another foundation product. I had just returned the Fenty Eavesdrop stick and my mind immediately went to this one or the Hourglass. I may have to buy the Hourglass and see how that one works. I seem to remember liking it. I had a sample a very long time ago. Yeah, so the Merit is just, it doesn't work for me. I'm sure it, there are people out there whom it is for. Maybe if you have like drier skin than I do, but I don't know, man. I don't know. It's just not, it's not all that and a bag of chips, as we used to say in the 90s and 2000s. That is my haul. It is more than I had intended on purchasing, but at the same time, I tried a lot of stuff and I found some things that I really love and am happy to have in my collection because they are going to improve the way that I use my makeup. They're going to improve my skin and they're just going to make me a little happier. So that is it. This was a short little video. I hope y'all enjoyed it. I hope you guys didn't overspend at the Sephora sale. It's so easy to do when everything is 15 to 20 percent off. I hope you all are taking care of yourself. I hope you all are taking care of each other. And I will see you all in my next one. Bye, friends. Little bunny foo foo, how beautiful. Skip picking up the field mice, I'm bonking them on the head.